Hello, everybody. It's Monday. It's February 6th. And uh, we've got this big, big story of uh, shooting down a balloon that was launched by China. And it's probably what say China. 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 There it goes. Here we go. That's China. <coughs> so, uh, it came across Canada. It came across uh, Alaska. Montana. You know. I mean, it floated all the way across the country. And if it was a Chinese, uh, you know, surveillance uh, thing or a test to see what the resolve is with the American government on whether they're going to do anything. But floating a balloon at, uh, you know, like 60,000 feet, 65,000 feet, that's about as high as it can be. Or as low as it no, and it could be lower, but uh, it's flowing around in the upper atmosphere, with the idea that uh, you know the, um, uh, it could be performing some kind of surveillance. You know, there's a there's a myriad of things that could be collected as it's going across. You know. Uh, our sovereign country, but you know, and Biden doesn't care about our borders, right? The people are flowing in from the south, you know, at the rate of 2,500 people per day. You know, you multiply 2,500 by 360, it's a big number. And while we're at it, <laughs> oh boy. I think that's what I heard. Times. Uh, it's a million, million people a year. And that's the ones we know about. And then there's, you know, another 40%. Uh, that would, or 50, 50%, I think, said, that we don't know. So that makes sense. <laughs> so you're, you know, about a million five people, almost 5,000 people a day, including the getaways, gotaways. I got away. Got away. So that's the big story over the entire weekend. So they finally got over South Carolina and got over into the Atlantic Ocean before it got past 12 mile limit. <coughs> because then it's in international airspace as opposed to US sovereign airspace. And, uh, you know, so now they're going to have hearings and <laughs> ask all kinds of questions. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. So it's my responsibility. Uh, I, don't, I don't know anything about it. <coughs> you know, a good pair of binoculars, you could see that balloon, apparently. Oh, God. <laughs> so... You know, they're not going to get to the bottom of it because everyone's going to, you know, you know, they either don't know or they do know. It's they've recovered. I heard uh, a couple hours ago that they recovered some stuff, you know, from the ocean. So now the military is saying it doesn't uh, present, uh, you know, any kind of a military. Well, I mean, they're taking surveillance. <laughs> you know, why, don't they take sur why don't they just come right here, marching on the property, and, and make surveys of the uh, missile silos? What are you talking about? I mean, this guy's a career, uh, you know, oh, some of these career military people. They need to get them out. Put them in, put them behind a typewriter, let them write memos, I don't know. 
but uh, to be on the command. Now they're saying that some of this stuff that might have happened under the Trump administration was never reported to Trump or his folks. In other words, the military or the surveillance people just kept it a secret. <laughs> hey, we don't need to tell these guys. They're just going to twist in the wind and you know, <clears throat> no, we'll just keep it a secret. So, you know, tend if you do and tend if you don't. Uh, but anyway, I've been, I have this. I have this thing in my arm. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little device that looks like. It, oops, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. You see this right here? This disc that charges my watch. It looks like that. And you just stick it underneath your arm, and. Um, it records your blood sugar continuously. Uh, continuous glucose monitoring, CGM. That's what they call it. C continuous glucose monitoring. So I, I've been doing that, and I have. Uh, see right here on the screen. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, let me let me reverse it. I'm used to I'm used to being on the other side, <laughs> so we can swap cameras. There we go, bingo, the magic of electronics. So now you can see. Uh, <coughs> so I have. Uh, you can see on this chart, and I'm, I'm going to make it bigger. You know, just pinch, reverse pinch. Uh, it's, it is actually a sta standard and custom is irrelevant because they're the same. I didn't make any custom, and that's to, to customize it. Um, I would, you know, go in there and change. Uh, what in range is 70 to 180 units, you know, and change those parameters, which I did not do. This is the way the industry uh, expects it. So if I tell anybody I've been 80% in range, which you can see right there, 80%, and, and the range is 70 to 180, then that's why it's colored green. <laughs> Yeah, they don't leave anything uh, to the imagination. And then if you're above, which I am 20%, 19% of the time, and that's 180 to 250 uh, units, or, and then greater than 250, uh, I hit it 1% of the time. And this is for a 30-day sample. So I've been having continuous glucose monitoring for uh, about six or seven weeks, um, and uh, in the first two weeks, or two, let's see, the first four weeks, I was using the Freestyle Libre One. They don't call it one; it's just the free, Freestyle Freestyle Libre without a number. I did that for two weeks. And then I communicated with Dr. Thomas Lubin, my primary care physician, that uh, I want to do, I want to use the Freestyle Libre 3, which is a newer, uh, better version, if you will. The Freestyle Libre 2, which obviously is, <laughs> which it is. Um, that's where Abbott Laboratories uh, provides to you a little device um, that listens to the, uh, the thing that's in your arm. Um, and the Freestyle Libre 3, uh, it, it's a app, it sends the information 
right into your phone. And there it is. There's a, I don't know if you can see it or not, but let me turn down the brightness because uh, that helps. Yeah, there you go. Same thing, 80 20. 80% 80 in range, 20% above range. So, and it's a 30 day period. Um, I can touch the blue thing here and say, uh, what's my average glucose? So day after day after day, it's 143 to 157. You know, a low of 143, um, which is right just before lunchtime. And then, you know, after lunch, it goes up to 157 because it's digesting all my uh, glucose or my food, which produces glucose, which gets in your cells and uh, gives you energy. And uh, if you produce too much glucose, and then your body automatically delivers some insulin, creates insulin, and puts it in the bloodstream, and that brings down the glucose levels to a balance, you know, and that's, that's what it does. Um, when you get to be a little older, <laughs> which I qualify as a little older, um, Oh, yeah, time and range. That's that's a very key thing. And then uh, the result. And this is uh, equivalent to the uh, A1C. And we've heard about A1C. And uh, anyway, so what you know what so what triggered all this? You know, with Jimmy. Well. You know, I had a blood test taken, um, and it said the <laughs> it's it, it came out with all kinds of the results, which are you know within my normal thing. But the sugar was like <laughs> the glucose was like <laughs> off the charts. My A one C was eleven point four. I said, uh, doctor, that has to be a spurious test. It can't be a valid test because. You know, I'd be falling on my face. You know, you can't have that much glucose in your system. <clears throat> Maybe, you know, hypoglycemic for, you know, almost 90 days, which is, you know, the, the window that an A1C uh, refers to. 90 days is the, uh, why 90 days? 90 days is the life cycle of a typical blood cell. And then the liver filters out the dead ones and they create new ones, and it goes in your blood. So blood, red blood cells are constantly coming and going out of your system uh, by your liver. Uh, it filters out the dead ones, and it delivers nice new ones. <laughs> and they flow around. So, But the outside edges of the, of the red corpuscle... Um, you know, get covered with the uh, uh, free glucose, you know, and uh, that's a good thing because you need that because it's the form of energy and it gets in your muscles and, then you, you know, you open things and lift things up and everything that uses energy. So, but your glucose has got to stay in range. Uh, so in the last, since January 1st, you can see with my glucose management indicator, <laughs> there's a whole big paragraph of what that is. It's the functional equivalent of A1C. That's why they put it in nice big numbers with a percent so that, uh, you know, the entire medical community gets the joke that uh, the final button in this is GMI. There it is, 6.9. The longer the period that it looks back, it looks if it looks back uh, a full ninety days, you know, then we'll we'll see uh, how that number changes. Right now, I've got a full. Let's go ninety days. See what happens. 
data available is 31 of 90 days. Yeah, so I only got, you know, uh, connected uh, 31 days, which is the period from January 1st to today, because I started it with the break of the new year. And uh, so that's that. So that's why. Uh, so this is the results. And then I, let's see, I think I, uh, there it is right there. Oh, this is my shopping list. <laughs> let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. That's photos, messages. All right, so right here. Now, I can share this, my data through the internet with uh, anybody that has a device and an internet connection. So there it is. Let's uh, go on my app here. There's Wilson. There it is, 186. So it's, uh, you know, jiggled a little up. Um, so that's it. So I'm a little, I'm a little tight. So, the, you know, the green, obviously, this is. Oh, you see, you can you can go right around. You want to go? You see how the numbers are changing? So this can tell you exactly where we are. See, it's 181. <laughs> it went above range. And it goes. Up. Well, when I was in the hospital before New Year, uh, sometime in mid December, roughly, uh, the uh, doctors and uh, you know, the professionals in the hospital um, were watching my blood sugar. You know, they, they, they do blood tests. They stick your finger and take a sample. And, what was that? and if my blood sugar got above like two, you know, right, right here. Yeah, 206, 28. See, the numbers are changing up on the top here. Watch that number. So... You know, if it got to 220, like that, they'd be giving me two units of insulin. One unit for each hundred value here. It's uh, milligrams per deciliter. <laughs> you can see that MG DL. So that's uh, what that means. So 200, you know, if you're up at 223, uh, they give you a couple of units of insulin. Uh, and then they watch, and, you know, and then four hours later, they check your, your blood tests and all that kind of stuff. And if you're, you know, like right here, <coughs> they may give you one more unit. So I'm about to, I just sent a fax to my, uh, let's see, can I? Can I see fax here on this device? Yeah. X. Where it is. X. There it is. My microphone's in the way. There it is. It should automatically go. Oh, crap. I don't want a fax number. So, the sent ones. There we go. See, I sent a fax to my doctor. Um, you know, these guys run around like crazy. So I sent the fax today, this afternoon, and I will call them tomorrow. And that way, when I speak to the head nurse, actually, I'll give them a chance to call me. Uh, so show confirmation. There we go. They received it. Uh, to 321. Let's see if I can see anything about the facts. I wanted to show you what I wrote. In the book. Nope. I signed up for this deal. Unlimited number of pages for a year, $99. And you don't have to worry about uh, you know, anything 
you know, you don't have to count pages and some that. You, you, you just, you're right in there and you can send your pages. So I'm going to go back to sent. And I'm going to uh, touch that. Oh, here's a couple of pages. Let's do that. Oh, copies. <laughs> um, let's hit this little carrot. See if that. Nope. It seems like I could. Let's try that little thing. Deliver pending. Seems like I could see the pages. I want to be able to see that. You know, here's, I can tell you what I did because I wrote, I wrote it on here. There it is. Oops. Okay. Uh, we have a streaming error, so we're going to end the session.